Hi everyone, I'm Thulsi and welcome to my ultimate Tony experiment. If you don't know what the ultimate Tony experiment is, it is a little genetic experiment where I combine every single one of the townies in the world into one sim. And I plan on doing this for every single world. So we'll have one townie per world and then we'll be able to combine them all and get our ultimate townie that represents the entirety of The Sims 4. But I'm going to be starting with a base game today. So let's jump back into Willow Creek and let me just acknowledge yes I did quite a few of these videos before but I decided to start over because of some issues in the past that I used CC and the results weren't really accurate so I decided to redo it so if you've seen these videos before you'll see them again but if you are new welcome to the ultimate townie and it's nice to have you here so let me just explain a little bit more if you are new so for example let's take this Spencer Kim Lewis household I'm gonna be combining every one of these sims into one and I'm completely ignoring all family relationships, ages, stuff like that. So yes, things will technically get weird, but it doesn't really matter. It's just for the sake of the experiment. So let's get started with this family. And we are kind of starting with a big one, but I think it's going to be relatively simple and straightforward. So let's start with combining Alice with just her husband, Eric. And I have like a little chart of what needs to have what because it's like full, full on math in here. So I'm going to turn this child around and you need to be a boy. So let's change that real quick. And I'm going to be randomizing. Did I usually randomize three times? That kind of seems excessive. I can just randomize once. And this will be our result. So that is our first child of the video. And we'll do that for like everyone and get what like one result per family first. But let me give you a name, Archer, although it doesn't matter at all. But I'll just age you up and take a little look at what we're getting. I see that you got your dad's hair. So that's nice. But oh, wow. Okay. Well, he's an interesting mix of both. I can definitely tell. So that's kind of what we want to be looking at. So I'm going to be just putting him on the side for a little bit and jump to Vivian who I will... Oh, I need to age you down actually. That's annoying. Okay, there we go. I can age you down and move on to do the same for Dennis and I'll be combining these two, which I'm kind of expecting to have a similar result because they are the parents of the previous couple. So it's just kind of like the opposite version of that, isn't it? But you two do need to have a girl. So let's just switch that up, randomize once. And I mean, she did age up with gray hair, which isn't like really genetic, but they are both elders who do have gray hair in game. And I am trying to kind of represent what's happening within the game. So I guess I'm not going to change it, although I feel like it should be black, like genetically, realistically, but that's not really the point. So I'll keep it gray. Oh, precious. That's so precious, I guess. Let's see. Oh, wow. Okay. Well, you do definitely have some skin details, so I'll get rid of that. So we have a clear look at you and you're definitely looking um rather interesting what happened with your chin oh my god i was literally just thinking how this family doesn't really look that bad for like base game townies honestly they're quite cute they are doing like weird townies re well not really recently they had like a weird townie era for a while the recent townies are much better but you know these for like base game when the game first started these are like really good so i'm really surprised that the results are coming out like this what What's happening with that? That's like so extreme. But anyway, let me just combine, I guess, these two. So you and Archer. Another weird thing about this family, Spencer Kim Lewis, besides their genetics, apparently, what the hell is going on with that hair? Okay, whatever. You two need to have a boy. But another weird thing about this family is that I don't even like ever notice them in my game, which is, okay, he has like CC hair. I'm going to randomize it until I get rid of that. But I don't really notice them in my game, like ever. It's like they don't like procreate or anything because I swear I noticed like the goths for like five generations. Land grabs don't even get me started, but this family just disappears immediately. And I mean, this result is like pretty similar to the archer guy. Boldness is just cursing this family because of Eric. Wow. Oh, well, because of Dennis as well. But now I do need to go to Olivia and age her up real quick. I forgot what she looks like aged up. Oh my gosh, she's so pretty actually. She is, she's really cute. But anyway, now I do need to combine you with the result that we just got from the grandparents and parents. That is you. And you will also have a little girl, which I think is good because Olivia's genetics are pretty good. So maybe we'll have some luck. Oh, I feel like just because of the skin tone, she might look a little bit more like the father. Alicia's is not bold though. So I'll take it. Erin, let's age you up and see. I hope that she's cute. Okay. Well, at least she has a bit of a chin. She definitely has a bit too much jaw, but on 
honestly, this is a pretty cute result. I feel like we're onto something with this already. So now that you have a bit of a better idea of what's happening, let's move on to the golf family. This one's gonna be a little bit quicker because we only have four sims. So let's just combine Mortimer with Bella. And I need you two to have a boy actually. Maybe a bit of a redo of Alexander because we know how god awful the new version is. So let's randomize him once. And okay, you definitely go. Is that Mortimer's skin tone? He looks a little bit lighter, but I guess I'll keep it. I think that it is Mortimer's. So let me just give you a name just for the sake of it, although we don't really need it. And I'm gonna age you up real quick. So let's see what you look like. Oh my god, he's like kind of normal. I mean, his nose is like so skinny, but he looks much better than the Alexander that we'll see in a second once I age him up, which I might as well actually do now because I do need him now. So let's age you up into a young adult. And I mean, he looks quite scary. You know, it's just, it's not really cute. This one's like so much better. But anyway, Alexander, I do need you. And unfortunately, I need Cassandra. I told you things will get weird because these two are siblings. I do need to combine them because like it makes sense to combine. Oh, it doesn't. It doesn't. But for the sake of the experiment, you kind of get what I mean. I just need to mash both of them together into one sim, just like one average of the two siblings. You know what I mean? So that's kind of what we're going for. So let's just randomize once. Wow, she's so red. I need to randomize again because that's definitely not supposed to be a thing. Uh, even that looks a little bit too red, I think, because I'm pretty sure that both of them have the same skin tone and that would be kind of this. Okay, I'm going to keep that. Deborah, let me just stage you up and turn you around, see what we're working with. Oh, okay. Well, the haircut is definitely not giving her justice, but honestly, she's not looking too bad. I feel like the sim that we'll have from the goth family, which we'll do just now, combining Deborah with what we got from Mortimer and Bella, and that one will be a boy. I think that they would actually do better if they had a girl, but let's see either way. Okay, that is definitely this skin tone, still Mortimer's skin tone winning. I feel like this is just gonna be mini Mortimer, honestly, in a bit of a weird way, but let's see. And let's turn you around. I mean, honestly, not a horrible looking sim. I mean, the eyes were just getting bigger and bigger with every sim that we did, but he's not bad, honestly. I mean, if I just made like the eyes a bit smaller and if you put like skin details on that and everything, I'm not gonna do that now, but I feel like this sim wouldn't be horrible, but I do need to give him his eyes back. And that is the final sim of the goth household. And I'm moving on to our dear, dear pancakes. I mean, we can really speed run this one, right? So we can just combine Bob with Eliza. And honestly, I have a bit of a hate-hate relationship with their relationship. I don't know what it is, but I feel like Bob is just trapped in this awful marriage with Eliza. I just feel so bad for him, you know? It's just, I don't like seeing them together. But anyway, they need to have a girl, so let's just randomize once. Oh, red hair. Okay, interesting. I was kind of thinking that so far everyone had black hair, so this is a bit of a welcome change. So, Amelia, let's age you up. And I feel like, oh no, you have alpha hair. Oh, I don't like that. Um, um, well, she did have red hair as a child, so I guess I'll just change it, but let's see what the face is looking like. Oh, that's Bob's jaw and Bob's everything. Oof. Well, at least she has freckles, so that's something in the mix, but yeah, that's definitely Bob's child. But I do need to change her hair just to something that's not CC, so it's basically just like that, whatever. Mm, I need to check what Eliza has. Wow, your hair is actually much more red than I was thinking. Oh no, it is that one. It just looks really different on you, but it is the same swatch, so I guess that we're good. So this is what the combination of those two looks like. And we're already at the final household of Willow Creek. So let's go to the BFF household. No one's related in this one. So it's going to be at least a little bit easier to mentally handle. So I'm going to do something a little bit different for this one because we only have three sims. I was doing some like really heavy math in my head, but I think that the best approach would be to just combine Liberty and Summer to get kind of like a midpoint of the girls in this household. And then this one can have a child with Travis. I think that's kind of the most fair. I was gonna go for something that's like a lot more convoluted, but I think this is like the easiest way to do it. So let's just age up Serena and see what she's gonna look like. I think that she's mostly gonna be looking like Liberty because of the skin tone and the hair color, but let's take a little look. Okay, she's looking quite cute. She does look mostly like Liberty, but honestly, this is a really cute sim and we have some more freckles, which is really exciting. So let's combine you with Travis here. We can definitely expect brown eyes. That's something I 
can say for sure. And the skin tone is going to be quite similar. Everyone's kind of having this like really light skin tone so far, funnily enough, because we had like a lot of dark skinned sims. But let's randomize once and see what the hair color is going to be at least. Oh, we got some cheese hair. Oh, actually, they need to have a boy. So let me just change that real quick. Again, with the CC hair. Okay, I'll change it. But let's take a look at the face. And oh, honestly, he's kind of, I mean, Travis's genetics definitely won on this one. I'm not too happy, but he's not too bad. Again, if I just made these eyes like a bit smaller and put some skin details on him, this would have been like a relatively attractive male sim. I do need to undo that, but still, it has some potential. See what I'm saying? They kind of did male sims surprisingly well, but is this, is this the cheese hair that I need? I think it should be. I just want to double check. And wow, he looks so similar to Travis, actually. Look at that. And look at that. They're basically identical. That's what I was kind of concerned about if I made Travis just to be like one, like 50% of him. And then two girls are both like 25%. It's a little bit unfair, but it's kind of tricky to do like three Sims in one household. And believe it or not, we're finished with Willow Creek already. But before we move on to combining everyone, we need to go to Oasis Springs. Because this time I'm not just doing one world, I'm doing all base game townies. So we have two worlds to take care of. And we need to take care of the Caliente family here first. Honestly, we've had these refreshes for like so long already. I'm still not really used to them, to be completely honest with you. But anyway, let's go to Dawn and combine him with Katrina. Those two will have a boy, so let me just randomize him once. Oh, red hair. Okay, fun. I was kind of worried that we'll just have black hair. I think that we will in the end, but still, let's see again with the alpha hair. But anyway, let me just turn him around real quick. Oh, wow. Okay, his features are um interesting. He's a little scary. Again, the eyes are just massive, but he has some other issues. Not really much that we can do. Oh my god, he's so scary. But anyway, let me just give you like a different type of hair. I kind of want to keep it relatively long because he did age up with longer hair. So maybe I should keep that in the equation as well. So I'm going to give you... I'll check what Katrina has. Okay, it is that one. So he is all set properly. Let me just double check. There we go. So he's fine. Ugh, good luck, buddy. I mean, he's not that bad. I'm just... There's something a little bit creepy about him. I just can't really tell. It's just... He's not looking right. But anyway, let's move on to Dina and Nina. Again, these two will be like a mashup of the siblings. So we just have one sibling and one. And also since they're both female sims, they I usually do that as like also having a female child. That's usually the best result. So we have two in one combo here of my really deep maths here. So let's randomize once. Okay, red hair is staying. So that's definitely going to be it for this household. And let's turn you around. I'm not sure where this hair texture came from, but I'll keep it because the game just decided on it. And this sim is honestly pretty cute. I kind of like her. I would just do like a bit of that and I wouldn't mind playing with this sim at all. She's really cute. I can't do that, of course, but she's really not that bad. So I'm going to combine you with the poor, poor creature that Dawn and Katrina made. And you do need to have a girl. And I'm kind of hoping that that means that this one's genetics will win. I mean, he's really not that bad. I don't know why I'm being so rude to him, but I just don't like him. So let's randomize. Oh, you do need to have a girl. Sorry, I switched that for no reason. Let's just randomize once. Not really many surprises because green eyes and red hair are definitely staying. But whose genetics are winning? Let's age you up and see. Fernanda, please provide something good. Please, everything just depends on you. Oh God. Okay, what is happening? Why? Why are your eyes so huge? And the eyebrows, what? Oh my God. I definitely see a lot of Dawn in here still. I'm really just not that happy with this. It's not horrible. It's just a little scary. I feel like the eyes just get so big. Well, that's kind of the point of this experiment, isn't it? To see what happens at the end. So I feel like whatever we end up with today is going to be super bug-eyed. But moving on to the Langrab household. And I did include Johnny with them. It makes sense because he is technically in their family, just not in their household. But just to make things a little bit easier here, I included him. But let's start with Jeffrey and Nancy to have a girl. Let's see what Malcolm would have looked like if he was a daughter, I guess. Or Johnny, to be fair. Yeah, I always forget that he is their child. That's the point why he's here. But let's take a little look and see what Amaya is looking like. Let's take a look. Oh, okay. Um, I mean, she's not bad. It's just interesting. Her eyes are still really huge. Her nose is quite... It's not, it's not actually that big, but it's really big compared to the lips and chin. I don't know. Something's throwing me off. She's 
not horrible, but she's just a little interesting. But I'm gonna be jumping to Johnny and Malcolm to kind of get the average of the two boys. So you will have a boy, so let's randomize him once. Where is that brown hair coming from? I think I want to randomize again because that's definitely not supposed to be a thing. Okay, that makes a lot more sense. And Johnny's genetics are winning, which I'm kind of happier about, which doesn't really make sense because they're so similar. They're meant to be, but I like Johnny a lot more. But let's see if that's worth anything or if it's still gonna be horrible. Oh, wait. His face shape is so nice. Now the eyes are like a little bit small, which is really surprising. I want to make them like a little bit bigger. And this sim would have been like so good. I'm actually so pleasantly surprised. You'd think that the land grabs would just do anything to make a complete disaster, but this is looking real good. Well, we still have time to ruin it because I do still have to combine it with the combination of the parents. I mean, again, it's not going to be a big surprise because we have blonde hair and green eyes. That's definitely going to be the ending, but I guess we'll see which face shape is going to be winning and they need to have a boy. So I'm kind of hoping that these like nice features come through. So let's randomize and let's see what we have to work with. I'm putting a lot of faith in this one, honest. Oh no, I can tell already that it's not a good one. I mean, he's not bad. He's a combination of the both. He kind of did balance out the nose and the lip and chin proportions. So that's kind of nice. He doesn't really have that nice jaw, but it's not really that bad. If you want like a review of like out of 10, he's a solid four and a half, which isn't really that bad when it comes to towny genetics, isn't it? Crazy that we're already at the final household of Oasis Springs too. And again, finally a break from the weirdness because no one's related here. But let's start with Zoe and... Oh, I actually don't know. I was going to combine her with, with Mitchell, but I feel like combining her with Jay would make sense because they have relatively similar-ish features. And I'll have them have a girl, so let's randomize. I don't really see this going badly because both of them are kind of good-looking sims, but you honestly just really never know. So let's take a look what's happening. Oh, whoa. Okay. See, I was hoping for something good, but this is giving... I, I honestly don't even know what it's giving. I'm a little confused. She's almost good. If I just... If, if she was like that, I would have nothing to complain about, honestly. Wow. Okay. Well, maybe I made a mistake there in picking Jay. Well, either way, I still have Gavin and Mitchell to look forward to. And again, because they're both male sims, I'll have them have a male child. So let's randomize. Oh, that's interesting. So we have, I think, is that Mitchell's skin color or Gavin's? I'm not really sure, but I feel like the hair texture is def Gavin's. So let's age you up and see what you're looking like. Oh, wow. You're looking a lot like Mitchell. What? I'm so confused. This is like the nicest sim that we had in today's video. For real, he's like so cute. I can't even really tell. I feel like he's a really good mix of both of them. I'm so pleasantly surprised with this one. Well, let's ruin him completely. Because you just know that this one's up to no good. But to be fair, I do need them to have a boy, so maybe his genetics will win. I am a little bit worried about this one, but I guess that we'll see. Okay, I see that the hair and the skin are same from the father, which probably means that we got unlucky on the face. Oh yeah, a little bit. It's not that bad. It's just not really as good as the father is, but it's not horrible. I can just see that this is definitely the mother's chin, but I mean, everything else is looking all right. And we have some freckles in the mix as well, which is always fun. But that means that we are ready to combine all the sims that we did. So I'm going to be placing our Spencer Kim Lewis sim and the goth sim. So I guess that we'll just start combining these two and then we'll move on to the next two. I don't want to like overwhelm myself and confuse you and me. So let's have you two have a girl and a randomize. Oh, I feel like the Spencer Kim Lewis genetics are definitely winning on this one with the hair and the skin colors. So let's take, oh, that chin. I mean, she's cute. She's just, oh, no, honestly, no, the chin is looking good. Why did I think that the chin was wrong? Maybe because she just has like really intense cheeks, but I kind of like that because she just looks a lot different than the other Sims, but it's the eyes. It's the eyes that are just super weird. Like the eye size and the pupil size. Otherwise, a really good sim again. I feel like a lot of them are almost good, which is quite frustrating. Let's bring in the next two sims, which is the Pancakes sim and the BFF sim. I can't really tell what to expect with these two, to be honest, because it could really be either or with the red hair and... Okay, I think that the eyes are both brown, maybe? I'm not really sure, but we also have the freckles. The skin color is pretty much the same, but okay, let's randomize and see, I guess. Oh, okay, blonde hair one, and I feel like that's 
kind of good for a boy because that means that the father's genetics might be winning so that's maybe a good thing here so we'll get rid of bob's jaw maybe let's take a little oh okay okay oh no actually i was getting worried but no he's looking good and he got the freckles this is pretty much still just travis scott's face that looks so similar to him i can't get over it so i guess that this is your warning i guess that his genetics are super strong if you haven't realized before and now we're officially moving on to oasis springs with the caliente sim and the land grab sim quite a few possible options with this one could really be either or with the skin color a hair color i think that they both actually have green eyes but you need to be a girl so let's randomize you and see what it's gonna be skin color from the caliente household but the hair color from the land grabs interesting let's see if your face is any good okay that's looking good and i can't really tell what it is she's just really intense i think that it's just because of the eye size because this is already looking quite lovely so i think it might just be the eye size i don't know but we are ready to move on to oh just the roomy sim well what do i do with you now oh no now i'm confused because we had these two and we had these two these two and then oh yeah because i had this one saved here that confused me maybe i'll combine these two because they're both like male sims and then have them be with the caliente sim so i have to redo some bits so you land grab caliente i do need to get rid of you i'm so sorry but maybe that's a good thing because we'll have two relatively decent looking male sims making a male sim so there is no way that this is gonna turn out messed up let's see oh he aged up with black hair i thought that it'd be blonde all right interesting still works but all right oh whoa what's happening with that chin who gave you permission to have that sort of chin oh my god this is my punishment for messing up i guess well now i really need you to put in some work caliente sim the biggest problem out of all of this is that i don't have an equal number of pairs because now we'll also have three final sims so i'll have to do the same thing again where i combine if, if i have this one to be a girl then two girls and then just with this one guy or the other way around oh i don't know it's just really tricky and i don't like it because it's messing with like the percentages of each household's contribution at the end i don't like it but it's probably the best way to go i feel like maybe going for a girl here would maybe be best so let's randomize a daughter oh but she's gonna look a lot like a caliente which mm, maybe isn't the best thing i'm not really sure let's age up and see hopefully she's gonna be cute i see that the jaw is interesting potentially no it's just looking good it's just looking good she has freckles she's cute maybe she's just a little like you know this would be a lot better but it's not horrible so now we're in the final stretch where i'll be combining the spencer kim goth sim with the combination of quite a few different households what is it caliente and langrav and roomies you just have a lot going on but i need to combine you two to just get the average female sim and randomize oh interesting i really thought that black hair would win so that's something i mean she's probably gonna be like a full-on caliente won't she uh, let's see oh well the face proportions are looking at least a little bit better she's honestly kind of cute i'm not too mad about it so now i definitely don't have any problem combining her with our male sim final male sim i honestly can't even keep track who's the combination of what he's like i know that he's a land grab and like the bff household that's all i can remember the percentages of everyone are just so messed up in this one i don't really like it but it is what it is and since the final result in my tomerang previous video was female i guess i'll have to have this one be male and let's randomize for the final time today and see what the ultimate base game townie is gonna look like oh he has red hair with that skin tone he's looking like he's eliza's son i swear brayden let's age you up and see what you look oh god that face shape is already scary oh oh no what happened we had two decent sims i i don't really like him he's a little scary i don't know what it is there's just something i feel like his face is just so skinny i don't know okay that's scary kind of unexpected did you guess that the final hair color would be red and the skin tone would be like this light i did think that the final eye color would be brown but that's kind of the only thing that i guessed but anyway i do need to give him a tiny bit of makeover which i'll just do a base game makeover since he is a base game 
game sim i feel like it kind of makes the most sense to just give him base game makeover i mean i could give him something like this it's still quite long but it's just a little bit nicer i still don't really like him don't get me wrong but it is what it is is that helping or making things worse i feel like that's making things worse like massively i don't have to like him you don't have to like him he's just the result we have to deal with it and i kind of want to dress him in like blue and green that's kind of the base game colors to me in my mind it makes sense with like the logo and the og cast background so i guess i will just give him like a green shirt with this i kind of have to just make something up and i guess that i will okay i could just give you like a little plum bob shirt i think that that would make sense oh like that one oh it has like all the little sims things that's cute wait but do we really not have just like a t-shirt with a plum bob on it just like a plain t-shirt no but okay here he is our final results of the combination of all base game townies into one who can you see here who does he look like the most which genetics came through i honestly just have no idea obviously the hair is from the calientes at least i think so because i don't think that eliza has this much influence and this much red in her hair but that's kind of all i can see i think like the cheeks are this way because of the spencer kim lewis goth sim but still i don't know where that came from anyway probably goth but i i don't know this one's quite confusing usually i can be like yep that kind of looks like you'd think but this one really really doesn't but if you enjoyed this video don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss any future ultimate townies we have quite a few to catch up on because i'm starting over but if you haven't already subscribe so you don't miss any future ones give this video a like so youtube knows that you're into this stuff and so i know that you would like to see more and thank you so much for watching see you in the next one or some other videos bye